Hey guys, today we're going to be adding and editing um, a shop item to this website. The shop program that we're going to be using is going to be found under Components, eShop. What we want to try and do is create a product. It's going to have an image. It'll have uh, the brand itself, which we will add as a manufacturer. It'll have a product code. It'll have a description, specifications for this particular item and related products. So to start with, we will go to, again, uh, under Components, under eShop. From there, we go to Catalog and go to Manufacturers. So we can add the manufacturer in case we don't already have it inside there. I'm just going to create a test one just to show you how it works. So I click the New button. And from there, we just select New. Uh, well, actually, we'll call it Test Manufacturer. From there, we click Save and Close. We don't need any more than that. Then we're going to go to Catalog into Products. From there, if we have that little cross clicked, it will show all of our items. We can choose to selectively find something if we wish by selecting by category. We can just select the category and it will only show the items inside that category. Alternatively, if we haven't got the category selected, we can do a search just for an item's name. As per that, I'm just going to click enter and that will just show products with the word Phoenix in the name. Um, but for today, what we're going to do is just add a new product uh, to show you how it works. So we'll click the new button. And from there, we're going to give the item a name. We're going to, I'm sorry, go back to the data, so the, to the general tab. We'll put the text in there under name. The alias will be created from the name, so you don't need to worry about that. And you can go to the short description and add some information about uh, the product itself. By default, on the previous page where you've got all your items listed in the category, that's where the short description goes. And then when you click the item, you'll get to see uh, more information about the item. I might just call this test product so you can see that it's different to the others. Okay, and under the, so we've got the short description there, then we've, we've got the tab called, uh, the area called description, that's where we put the greater amount of information about the product. I'm just going to paste in a bunch of text there. Um, we can just edit the text as we wish, put returns in, we can put, um, we've got features there. We can make text bold like normal and just go and put our returns in where need be. Okay, and then uh, the next thing we do is go up to the data tab <clears throat> and we can put a skew of our own in here if we wish. It needs, it needs to have something in there, so whatever you wish to put in there, that's fine. The manufacturer is where you can select, um, uh, obviously, the manufacturer for this product. Now we created one called Test Manufacturer, so we'll put it inside that. Then we need to choose the image um, for, the, for, for this particular product. So I'm just going to click Choose File. And I've got an image here on my desktop, which I've got. Uh, the main category in this instance, we'll just put Amplifiers. So you can just start typing and it will actually find uh, an area in question. Um, this one here is under just amplifiers on its own. So we'll just go amplifiers. Okay. And uh, if you want, if you want to have it in uh, different categories, you can actually choose to have it in different categories by just clicking there and choosing the other categories that you want it to have it in. 
just like that. If you don't want them or want to remove it, you just click that cross. From here, the rider products. Okay, so we also might want to put this into related, like show related products to this product. So down this page, so we're still inside the data tab. And we go down to <clears throat> related products. And what we can do is we can just click on that and we can say what products are related to this particular item. So if we know what the code is, I'm just going to do a search for the word Phoenix and I'm just going to say, right, that's related to that product. So I'm going to click that there and that's it. If I want to have more, I just click again and choose something else. In this item, I won't actually, I'll, I'll leave this in there for the moment and I'll delete this product later. Uh, once that's done, we then go to the attributes tab. Now this particular product is an amplifier, so it has a, a power rating. So we're going to click add here. Now this should already be set up by your, your designer. If it's not, please ask them and I'll, I'm sure they'll help you out. So we're just going to click power output and we're going to say this is less than one kilowatt and yes it's published and we'll click that's fine and we don't need to worry about any of the other options this particular item doesn't need anything else from there we click save and close again if we want to find that inside here we just type in the word test product or even part of the word press test pro And you'll see it there. You'll see that at the end here it's published. If you don't want to have it published, so for instance you're you know just putting put the data in there, you can just click this tick and it will turn to a red circle. If we have however want to put it back in, we just click it on again. And it will turn back to a tick. So from there, if we go back to our products. And I think it's under transmission. Under amplifiers. And our item in this case is for the end of the page. Oops. What we can do is, is search if we want from the reverse order. and it will swap them around. <clears throat> so we're just going to show more items on this page. We'll just show 100. Just so we can see the product that we've just put in there. And there it is there. Um, as you can see there, there's, there's, there's no value on there at the moment. So what we're going to do is just add that ability in there. If we were to click that right now. It would go to the products. It would show the specifications and the related products. But it doesn't have the ability to add it to the cart. So the last thing that we need to do on the product is give it that function. And under the data tab, down towards the bottom, where it says product quote mode, we just turn that on and click save. And then I'll just refresh, I'll go back a page, just back to the category listing. I'll just refresh that. Oops. And you'll see we've got an add to quote function there now. Oops. So we'll click on the products. And you'll see here again, we've got an add to quote function there. 